What's up guys, Justin here for SNS Archery. And today's gear video, we're gonna be looking at the Hamski Primer Arrow Rest. You know, Hamski has been bringing us some of the best rests on the market uh, between their Trinity Pro and their Hybrid Hunter Pro. Um, all the machining, all the engineering, the workmanship, and the high-end materials that they use, you know, you combine all those things and the price starts to go up. Um, and for a lot of people, that's just not a, a viable option. Um, so Hamski has done their homework. They've created a much more budget-friendly rest in the primer. Uh, the primer, as you can see, it's very sleek in design, very minimalistic, um, a lot smaller than, say, the Trinity or the Hybrid Hunter Pro, coming in at just 3.6 ounces. Um, you still have the containment cage, just like on the other two models. Um, you got a nice size launcher. Uh, what I really like about the launcher is the size of it. Um, regardless of where your arrow's at, when you start to draw, it's going to fall in the center pinch point. So it's going to be consistent every single time. This is a limb driven rest, meaning you have a activation cord. The way this is going to work is this activation cord is tied to one of your limbs. Um, you can either have this at the bottom or at the top. Um, if you're going to run it on the top, it comes factory set for the bottom limb. But if you want to run this on the top, this little football shaped arm bracket here, you're gonna take this off. There's just a little Allen here and you're gonna flip it 180 degrees and then this cord will be going upwards. The way this works is this activation cord, like I said, is tied to your limb. Um, with your bow in the resting state, your limbs are at the furthest distance away from each other and that's where this will be tied in. As you pull back, those limbs start to creep in, your launcher comes up. Now it's all the way up, your full draw. Now as you shoot and those limbs spring back instantaneously to that resting state, the rest is gonna drop and fall right back through. Uh, the launcher is made out of titanium. Um, you do get some felt to cover it. So this will just help on the front here, will help with sound. So as you pull back and that, that launcher starts to creep, creep up, you're not gonna have any sound, any creaking noises of your, your arrow shaft sliding on that. As far as your containment cage or your arrow cage, um, this material you have, it's rubber coated. So it's a very quiet and durable material. Um, you can run this off if you prefer, shave even more weight. Uh, there's a there's little Allen screw here on the inside. I prefer to leave mine on um, just because I'm hunting so many different terrains, um, walking through rocks, brush, if it's, if I've got an arrow and I'm making a move on an animal, the last thing I want is it to fall off. Um, and I don't have any contact with this with my fletches or anything. So for me, it's just leave it on. Um, to load your arrow, there's a nice little soft spot of rubber that just opens up and you're able to slide your arrow right in. Getting into the drive system of this rest, um, Hamski is known for using sealed bearings. So there's two sealed bearings inside here, which is going to drive uh, with a spring on the inside, um, the actual activation of this rest. So you're getting a very consistent shot time and time again. Um, it's not gonna freeze up on you and definitely not gonna break. Stepping back to your activation cord, they have their new technology and the rebound dampener. Um, basically your activation cord is coiled throughout this. Um, what this is gonna do is help out with the vibration as your bow is going off. So it's gonna eliminate a lot of vibration, help with sound, and just take a lot of the energy that, that this is gonna have on it and just disperse it through that dampener. There is no micro adjustment on the primer. Um, so this is you know really nice for guys that just set it up once. Um, they don't have to obviously pay for that micro adjustment. Um, however, if you are into tweaking your setup, shooting different arrows, not having micro adjustment is, you know, it's not a pain, but obviously takes more work Getting, getting it set just right, being able to move in small increments, tapping it over. As far as mounting this to your bow, there is a lot of adjustability in this rest. Um, as far as your up and down, there's three different slots for this Allen screw to go into. And then on your left and right up top, you have a nice size groove where that can travel left and right. When you purchase the rest, you're gonna get your main bolt to attach to your bow's riser. Um, basically, it's just gonna go right here. Um, on, the, on the rest itself, you do have a set screw that's gonna give you two points of contact. So your rest, once it's tight, it's not gonna pivot on you, move up or down. You're also gonna get their knobby limb pad, which is basically gonna attach 
anywhere from two to four inches from the tip of your limb towards the limb pocket. Um, this is where you're going to tie the activation cord around. Um, this is just going to help keep that activation cord in the same spot every time. It's got like a 3M adhesive here on the bottom um, so it doesn't slip on you so it'll stay the same. Uh, you also get your arrow guide. So this is going to mount on your riser shelf. Basically as you start to knock an arrow, um, this is just going to contain your arrow as you pull back until it's up in an upward position. Probably the last thing I'll note is in the primers, they're only available in black, but they are available in right-handed and left-handed. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to install this on your bow, so be sure to check that out. If you guys have any more questions on the primer or any of the other Hamski rests that we offer, please feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, we'd be glad to help, and thanks for watching. <music>